first race of the day about to get underway then Stuart Nichols is our chauffeur for the start of the race away we go then you can see Jim Davies there just to the left of the screen that is the battle for Class C the full of Mark III road to but everyone she is down to Redgate for the first time in this 30 minutes before lap race for the second row the grid is Helwick kicks in going round the outside of everybody Matt Wallace got his first ever pole position but he's going to have to slot in behind the race winner from the Super GT series yesterday and Guy Hemmings going past Wallace as well to hit me down to third Matt Palmer there he sits fourth Jordan Robinson slotted just in a full hit to their fifth and sixth to the championship contenders. Miss Alra Kiss has started to break away from Guy Heaven. Another person going for championship. Wallace had to defend his line there to Matt Palmer. He's going to try and come back at him out the corner. Wallace just run a tad wide, but it seems all OK then. It is Robinson there in fifth. Zig Vickins and Luke Austin runs in seventh. They all go up under Starkey's bridge towards McLean's. And onto the brakes they go out of our start through the right hander at McLean's. And they appear again. Kicks and still with that catch then to Heaven then Matt Wallace leading the next quartet of cars before a gap back to Luke Austin who runs 7th and then the rest of the pack make their way through Coppice and onto the back straight and down towards the S's chicane three wider I think Michael Wells possibly was that involved in the middle there we can ride on board there with Matt Wallace he is the driver of the Primes in third. He sees the two leaders always overlapping into the chicane. Guy Hefford then will be looking for a good run out of the corner. There's the car's head then. They're waiting almost side by side now. Down towards Redgate. Yes, look, he's starting to overlap. He's going in front. Guy Hefford is our new race leader. He's got ahead of our Kits and this will allow Matt Wallace to join them then. So the three of them turn into Redgate and almost contact there. Get Kits and touch the back, but they're both off. Kits and Hefford off the road. Matt Wallace up to second. So Guy Hefford go for the lead. He's dropped but down to third. So through Hollywood onto the crane as they go. Palmer's fourth. Hits has got ahead of Robinson for fifth. As they now head down into the the old heaven. Kits and still lead. He smites his car through the old heaven. The guy heaven, where's he off to? He's onto the grass. That Palmer there as well, I think. So now that's allowed Paul Hinton a good run up the hill. Up towards McLean's. He's drawn up alongside Matt Palmer. He's possibly got this done, but Palmer's got the inside line still. As they turn through the right hander at McLean's and here be hoping that he stays in front there. Well, Hinton's almost done it, but still the inside line for Palmer. But Hinton cuts across the front and goes through as they go into Coppice. And so Paul Hinton made that work. He's up to fourth now then. Matt Palmer, another person could possibly win the championship. Chip. Stuart Nichols leads a group of cars and they turn, head down towards Chicane and going through there. Paul Hudson, he goes through on the outside. Clive Morfitt squeezing up um, on the outside as well. They all break down the Chicane. Someone goes over the gravel in front of them. Do that. Just try and work it out. Them. Is it Robert Wells, I think? So Robert Wells went across the gravel wide, goes Kitson out of Redgate. Matt Wallace trying to make that work for him. I don't think it will. Just let me go on to the third lap of the race. He's really tucked up behind him as they head through the crane. It's side by side between Hinson and Robinson behind. It's been a good scrap of year between the two of them, and Hinson stays in front as they the way through the old hairpin. Behind him now is Jim Davies, the best of the Class E cars. He runs seventh overall. He's got himself ahead of Luke Austin. The cars head up towards McLean. Palmer, there, of course, back in front of Hinson. That's happened somewhere, uh, probably down the chicane. It has to be, doesn't it? So they now... And look, uh, Robinson slow out to McLean. Jim Davies having a run at him up towards Coppice. He's run aboard with Matt Wallace, who's side by side with the leader. 80, um, 83 for our, 82 for our Kitson, 72 car for Matt Wallace, head through the chicane, Kitson carries a lot of speed through there, did that guy Heaven join him now, three for the lead across the line, Kitson, Wallace and Hefford onto the brakes then, into Redgate. See those three running away from the rest. And it's Palmer in fourth. Fifth is Hinton. Hit up to Jim Davies trying to get past um, George Robinson. He couldn't do that that time. That's about of a sixth. Luke Austin in there as well. And here comes Guy Hefford. Contact between him and Matt Wallace. Matt Wallace spins the car in front of Hefford. And he throws back onto that escape. That very small bit 
escaped harm after the bottom of the old hairpin. Lucky that was there though, by in the gravel near to the circuit. He would have been. Now, Chesford, is he still second? With the, I think he might have fell behind. Let's check this. Yes, he's fallen behind both Palmer and Hinton. So, second to, no, fourth to second has gone Palmer. Heffer tried to move down Coppice to get ahead of Paul Hinton. He was unable to do that, though. Um, on board replay, then, with Matthew Wallace. Looking for a gap that wasn't there, really. And it's luckily managed to be joined. So, where's Hefford gone? Something's always happened down the chicane for Guy Hefford because he is dropped back behind Wallace. And off goes Michael Wells. That's where Guy Hefford is. He's just got ahead of Wells then after he dropped off the road. So they head on to the crane then. Had a spin as well. That's Timothy Heron in the 23 car. He's on the grass on the inside of Redgate, but he will also be able to rejoin much further down the pack. On board with Stuart Nichols. This from a lap or so ago. Somebody running out very wide out of McLean. Then up in the coppice they went. Rob Wells losing in front of Stuart Nichols. He, he had to take the grass. Slid into the gravel and he lost lots of places there. Then this is what happened with Timothy Heron. He cut a bit into him and then he slid out into um, Heron and then he was sp spat to the inside of the circuit. George Robinson now racing against Duke David. This might be the battle. Fourth, I think. Yeah, fourth position now that. Wallace and Hefford had their offs. So they go down the craners. Jim Davies ahead of George Robinson now. And then Davies runs out awfully wide through the old turf and jumps back behind. Luke Austin goes trying to come through as well. And this time Ben Rowe off at Redgate. He's in the gravel. I don't think he'll be able to get out of there. No, he's getting out the car. So ben Rowe out the race. To Stuart Nichols, then he has a look up on the inside of Paul Grimmett. So head for him, claims he couldn't get that done. Up towards Coppice, they go then. Nichols losing out more than anything. Now Grimmett having a go at the 53 car and hands of Mark Snelling. So they run side by side down to the chicane. Stuart Nichols, is he going to look up on the inside of both of them? No, he decides against that, perhaps a touch too far back. Grimmick's going to get the better of Mark Snelling. Out of the red gate, there's George Robinson, it's just like Amy Atkinson. And Jim Davies has dropped back to the trip, um, to the back of that trio of cars. He's got behind, fallen behind Luke Austin as well. It's a four, fifth and six. Head through the old uh, bin. Guy Hefford off. Oh, then. Robinson Shamshin. Not the best race for you. Hinson also is there. Four drop scores I get in the MR2. So I'm going to help Hinson out because he has had three retirements on the bounce now. Both races here at Don. Um, both races at Anglesey and one here at Donington. So he'll be hoping to have a good result here. Both races. Stuart Nichols, he ran a fourth of a game. Behind Mark Snelling now. The car's head up towards McLean's. Touch on the brake there from Snelling before going hard on the brake. So that's allowed. Stuart Nichols up on the inside. Snelling still trying to muscle his way back up along on the outside line for the coppice. Stuart Nichols has got that one done yet. He gets ahead in the 53 car. Onto the back straight. Top two. Well, Matt Palmer's closed in on Auric Kitson. But Kitson still leads in the 82. 87, Matt Palmer going after him. And Paul Hinton not that far behind either. 
runner-up in the 2011 Championship as Hicks and Tubby hoping to win it this year. Also three retirements to help with him. Robinson starts to escape. Austin now, who still has Jim Davies attached right to his rear bumper now. Under Starkey's bridge they go. He's trying to get the overlap. So far has head up towards McLean. The inside here, but no, Luke Austin stays in front. Matt Wallace closes them all up as well. As they exit the corner. Stay in the same order. Possibly Luke Austin is closing to George Robinson. Up towards McLean's for Nichols, who has a go at Grimmick. Can't get that done. Tries again, though, up to Coppice, and this, this is going to work. He's through. Stuart Nichols gains the position then. But Paul Grimmick quick round the outside and stays in front. But then again, Stuart Nichols that tighter line comes back at him. They're going to be side by side onto the back train. Side by side for the lead. Because Matt Palmer round the outside to get the lead away from Alric Kitson. So Matt Palmer now with probably two laps to go at the end of this. Leads the way to Alric Kitson. Paul Hinton Woods closes. He seems to drop dropped off the pitch. Jim Davies is back ahead of Austin. Matt Wallace closing the three of them up. And Jim Davies looking up on the inside, possibly here to put back to George Robinson. But drops a bit of time through the craners. Stuart Nichols in the other class seeker. He makes the way through the craners. He has got ahead of Paul Grimmett. As he heads through the old hairpin. And Stuart Gallagher. I mean, William Gallagher in front of him in the number three car. Of this for 2012 and late on the brakes again from Nichols into McLean's. Can't get that one done. They head up to Coppice now. Got to watch out for Paul Grimmett behind him as well. Turn through Coppice. But into Redgate for the leaders. Ben Rhodes car being recovered by the tractors there. This could well be the last lap, and if it is, Alric Kitson leads. Second, Matthew Palmer. Two of them still have a bit of a gap to Hinson. Hinson closing them in. Two leaders seemed a bit sideways through the old hairpin that time. Now they head underneath Starkey's bridge up towards McLean. There's a couple of cars in the gravel up at McLean. That car, one of the cars right on the edge of the circuit. They were Linden and Simon Bastaman. Off as well, that's Clive Morfitt, he's in the gravel of the old hairpin. So Matt Wallace passes those two cars at McLean's. He's now getting himself onto the back of the George Robinson car. Right now to come around the outside of him, cuts back to the inside, into the outside once again for the chicane. Car gets inside on the in, on the um, entry to the chicane, and now Jim Davies with a good run out of the corner, and he's just edged ahead of Matt Wallace across the line, I think. Yes, by half a tenth of a second. So in chicane uh, in the grab of the chicane now. That's Luke Austin. Luke Austin out then as Stuart Nichols crosses the line to find William Gallagher. We've had a, quite a few altercations to the results in the last couple of laps of the race. And the win went to Alric Kitson then by four hundredths and Paul Hinson right there as well. So Kitson, Palmer, Hinson the podium. Then George Robinson got fourth, Jim Davies fifth and sixth to Matthew Wallace.